Hello everyone, I believe you could see me. Type yes if you can see or you can hear me. Type in comments if you can see me because I am not able to find any of the comment and I am not able to uh, find that I am live or not. Please let me know. So, uh, am I audible to all? Okay, so this is Dr. Inki Srivastava and I am here with a purpose uh, so that I, I thought let me come on live for all the participants who are uh, having and who are attending my Mani Karma healing. So hope I am audible to everyone. If you are here, please type yes in the comment box. Hello Bhupender, uh, fine, so I am audible, right? You can hear me. Perfect. Thank you Deepak. So the purpose as I mentioned that I am here for all the participants who are attending my Mani Karma healing WhatsApp program. So I believe uh, most of you are clear because today is the fourth day and you have already received healings for last three days. Hope everyone is having the uh, positive vibes and they are able to receive these healings as guided. Right? If you feel that you are able to receive healings and you are feeling vibrations and you feel some divine connect while receiving it, type received in the comment box. Type received in the comment box. And um, there are few queries if uh, you uh, were asking, you know, individual basis. Because I feel that uh, instead of uh, answering everyone individually or in the group, I thought let me just come on live so that you can also share few things you feel like or any doubt, any query you have, you may write down in the chat box. I would answer your uh, questions. However, let me tell you one thing that actually everybody is facing during the receiving of these healings. One, I would like to mention that few of them are saying that we have connected, we felt this thing, but I don't know whether I am connected properly or not. So this is one thing that we need to actually understand that if you are following the process that has been guided to you and if you have created the same intention that is mentioned in the guidance, in the process, in the message that means you are already connected to the energy circle this is one why you would feel that i am not connected is sometimes there are chances that there are a kind you know there is a kind of uh, uh, doubt because this thing might be new for you this thing is not, you are not aware of you may be doing it for the very first time getting connected to the energy circle and re, you know receiving the healings so sometimes your mind your logical mind your analytical mind you know it starts to create the logical thinking process that ye kaise ho sakta hai 
हमने तो कभी किया नहीं इज इट पॉसिबल नहीं नहीं दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल हाउ कैन दिस बी सो देर आर फ्यू काइंड ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस मेंटल डाउट्स एंड ऑल दैट स्टफ एंड दैट इज वाई वी समटाइम्स फील वी आर नॉट कनेक्टेड हाउ एवर एनर्जीज आर वर्किंग एंड दे आर वर्किंग फॉर योर हाइएस्ट गुड एंड वंस यू क्रिएटेड द इंटेंशन ऑफ कनेक्टिंग टू द एनर्जी सर्कल योर मेयर कॉन्शियसनेस इज अकॉर्डिंगली रीच इन द एनर्जी सर्कल टू रिसीव the healings so therefore there is no place of doubt that i am not connected this is one thing that i uh, want everybody to understand second is i have found that there are certain people who are comparing their experiences with the other people's experiencing that they are sharing in the group and few of them are like they are expressing their uh experiences their feedbacks in such an elaborate manner that the the different people started comparing that okay they have visualized something like that i was not able to visualize that way someone said i have felt this thing in the body so this person was uh, thinking of oh i have not felt anything in the body there is no such kind of vibrations or sensations that i have you know uh, felt in the physical body few of them were mentioning that i have got some jerks while receiving the energy so the other sometime other person says oh there might be something missing in me maine kuch aisa to feel hi nahi kiya so energy mere upar kaam nahi kar rahi so so my dear friends this is not that way because everybody has their own energy everybody has their own blockages energetic blockages everybody has a different receptivity associated to the healing energies everybody has their own different level of faith different level of belief system and different level of reception for these energies therefore they receive the healings and the feedback the experience they would be getting based on their energies so there is no point of comparison if someone is uh, feeling in the body or maybe uh, they are getting some visualization or maybe they are getting emotional outburst everybody has their own different feelings own different way of receiving some people are you know hearing some kind of humming sound if if you all have read the feedbacks yesterday's feedback there are there were different people expressing their different experiences and feedbacks and they have got totally different no people no two people can have the similar experiences because based on their lifestyle based on their uh, energy pattern you will get different experience so no comparison with the others and also there no there is no comparison between you know kal to mujhe aisa laga aaj mujhe different kyun laga no two days experiences can be same so we are not supposed to compare with others or with the previous days i hope i am understood if you understood and if you are clear with these points type in the comment box clear who all are understood who have understood and clear on these points that i have discussed type in the comment box clear i am waiting for your comments type in so that i would feel that yes you are listening and you are getting understood because otherwise i need to give some more explanation and some more clarity on these two points are you clear i am not getting any of uh, i think there is some issue yes it was not getting scroll down so fine uh, thank you bhupesh ishan anand thank you so moving ahead there are few more things i need to and of course if you have any query if you have any question do type in the comment box so can i can address your query so let me moving for, uh, on so there are few things while uh, 
you know when you receive healings when you receive it is associated uh, hi astro neetu good to see you uh, although you are not in the mani karma workshop uh, that i that is going on and today is the fourth day of this healing five days healing and today is fourth day although the healing will be done at night so i'm just clearing the doubts of many people the participants who have received last three days healings of mani karma so one more thing when you receive the healing what happens is what actually healing does is it will clear your energetic blocks so whenever energetic blocks you are holding and if you are receiving the healings those blockages which you unknowingly holding on to your system will, will start to release out of your system so detoxification would happen cleansing process will start so during that process some people might feel a kind of discomfort some people feel that i am having pain i am having heaviness there a kind of giddiness i am facing maybe a kind of itching sensation all over the body and what not why is this why it is happening so why this discomfort it is because your body is getting this toxins you know released so whenever there is some kind of emotional or energetic baggage which is not required in your system and your system is releasing it out there would be some kind of you know energies uh, that will uh, moving out of it and that detoxification that is the process of cleaning the energies during that process there are different kind of energies which are getting released so body kahin na kahin pe usko release karte waqt kuch to karega outburst so there are various ways where when we find out that okay this headache is this heaviness this giddiness this pain whatever is due to the toxin releases is due to the detoxification that is going on in you energetic detoxification and during that it happens this way that you feel some kind of discomfort sometime for some time during that period of time you have to drink plenty of water keep yourself hydrated so that through urinate you detoxify your energies without getting so much of discomfort but once this uh, once this toxins get released completely then you will automatically become fine that heaviness will move away that giddiness will vanish automatically this is just the cleansing process that happens and due to that sometimes few people feel discomfort in different ways however if you if someone is not feeling any discomfort don't dis get disheartened because that detoxification in your case is happening with ease and grace so you should be you know in the mood of gratitude express your gratitude towards the energies that are getting released out of your system because those energies are not at all required they are like a garbage that you are holding on to and they create energetic blocks for money inflow and that is how few of the people are posting their feedbacks in the group associated to this what i am talking about so nothing to worry about what you have to do during that discomfort is you have to express your gratitude towards the divine energies towards the almighty towards the healing energies and the toxins that are moving out of your system this is one another thing is you have to drink plenty of water that is very much required keep yourself hydrated otherwise you would find that there are more discomfort you would you might face so keep yourself in a positive mode in gratitude mode maintain your faith maintain your belief things are moving at uh, on and very subtle way energies are working in you so that way you are getting uh, relieved from many of the baggages like in last 3 days if i talk about 
uh, Amira ji is saying I can't join. Join. Yes, it is too late now, but uh, I would request you to join my next batch when I conduct. So be in touch with me through WhatsApp. I know you are uh, there in WhatsApp group. Thank you, Bhupinder. Neetu, Astro Neetu is saying clear. Thank you, Neetu. Anshu Sethi clear. Vaishali clear. Ishan wonderful. Great, right, ma'am. Atma Namaste. Ishan Shivan. Atma Namaste. Anand Kumar, you are right, true. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. Rajesh, good evening. Wonderful experience, ma'am. Yeah, I would like to, in fact, uh, post few of like there are many people who have. Uh, who are doing and still uh, there in the workshop and would receive the healing energies today night also. Uh, please mention few of your great experiences, those experiences that you have had for the very first time and sometimes you know people say, I mean I get direct messages on my WhatsApp apart from the group itself, like they are feeling amazing, they are feeling very good, they are feeling light, they are feeling blessed to have these healings. And sometimes they feel, is it possible? How can this possible? It is amazing. It is wonderful feeling, and I'm having it in the for the, for the very first time. So this gives me, uh, you know, the feeling of high. I also get inspired by all of you. Thank you so much for sharing wonderful experiences every day. Yes, I would like to share few of the what should I say experiences that people were sharing with me last night over phone. I would not name anybody to maintain the privacy. So I would not uh, tell you the name who is this, but definitely they are from our group Mani Karma Healing and these people are also taking uh, healings. Bhupinder is saying, ma'am, I was feeling sensation on my palm and above the head. Wonderful, Bhupinder. That's amazing. So, there was a case. See, uh, yesterday we had, uh, uh, day before yesterday, day two, we had genetic money karma healing. So, through DNA. So, on that day, there is an experience of one of the participant that during that time, she was during the meditation while receiving the healings, uh, she saw her mother. Her mother uh, is not alive uh, because few, just few months back she passed away and uh, she saw her mother during the meditation, during receiving the healings that session when she sat and she was receiving and during that time she felt that she was witnessing and she was visualizing her mother standing in front of her with red eyes. So red eyes, she said, I felt that she is having anger. She is angry on me. So all of a sudden she just opened the eyes because she did not know what needs to be done. So she was discussing this with me that while the genetic mani karma healing was happening, she saw her. And uh, there is another one thing, like this is what I told her what to do, depends upon case to case. So I have, you know, told her that this is what you have to do and this is how you need to um, communicate and seek forgiveness and rest of the things that needs to be taken care of. And there is some uh, other experience it is superb experience, I, I must say, that when genetic healing was happening, this lady was getting, after the healing was done, the experience was she had itching all over the body. She had itching all over the body. And she was like, oh my God, what has happened? Kuch garbar to nahi ho gai. Ya mere ko koi infection ho gaya, koi allergy ho gai. What is it happening? during the night and not only with her but with her son also the son who has not received the healing directly she was he was also having the itching kinds Ye hua? 
because when we were discussing, she, she was asking me and I, I told her this is the superb healing you have received, amazing healing, 100% reception and uh, she was asking, should I do it again? I said no, because complete healing was done. Genetic healings, every cell of our body is having genes, the DNA. So once we were doing it, genetic DNA, money karma, healing, all the blockages, all the blocked energies, all those genetic flaws or emotions associated to the money energy that are, that were there and is not required in her life, in her system for limitation, for limiting this thing, money energy, it was getting out of the system. So genes to har jaga hai and that is how that itching also came into the whole body for some time and she drank a lot of water and you know bhot sari pani wani piya and thodi der ke baad energy settle ho gai. So hua ye tha ki jab genetic healing hoti hai aur itching hoti hai, discomfort ho raha hai, kisi ko headache ho raha hai, kisi ko kuch ho raha hai. So it is a kind where jahaan par aapke system ki safaiyan ho rahi hai, jis cheez ke liye, jis purpose ke liye aap healing le rahe ho. वो परपस आपका इन चीजों से जब निकल रहा है जो गार्बेज है जो जो टॉक्सिंस हैं वो ही हमारा निकालने का परपस है एंड दीज वे टॉक्सिंस आर गेटिंग रिलीज्ड एंड लेटर ऑन शी फाउंड दैट इट वाज ऑल गुड शी वाज फीलिंग लाइटर शी वाज फीलिंग एनर्जेटिक सो दोस ब्लॉकेजेस दैट वर नॉट दैट वर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड एट ऑल uh, associated to genes, associated to DNA, that all the obstacles that were created for the inflow of money or maintaining the money or going to the next level for financial freedom, whatever blocks she had uh, genetically, it all released. So this is how, nothing to worry about, agar kuch bhi discomfort ho raha hai, take it easy, it is all in the process, during the cleansing, it happens and it is all normal. You just need to take care in the sense that, okay, you need, you drink a lot of water, keep yourself hydrated, that is all and also express, the more you express the gratitude towards those energies, the more ease you would get. So please keep it in mind, no comparison no doubts keep your faith high believe in yourself believe in god believe in the healing energies go with the flow do not get distracted during the situation during the meditation follow the procedure completely carefully and then where i mentioned some kind of prayers do with the you know full faith few of the people have asked me that if what if you send the video of this these uh, prayers and the procedure my video or audio my answer to them is it is intentionally that i have made it in such a format that people themselves read the prayers reason being if you read your prayers yourself see i have intentionally uh, you know, made this in the form of prayers because what happens, it is our mindset, it is our sanskar, it is our beliefs that when we, you know, feel that there is a prayer, automatically some kind of faith generates in us, within us. So with faith, if we read those prayers, our faith develops a high, you know, a little higher and there is a kind of frequency, there is a kind of belief that gets into place that these are the prayers and I have full faith and the devotion while reading it. And once you read it, you feel that your vibrations, those feelings generates, those emotions get generated and that keeps your faith high always. If I give you the recorded version, you will just listen. So what, those feelings, those emotions, those kind of faith will not get developed in you that will keep your faith high, receptivity of receiving high and the intentions uh, of the pure intention of receiving those healings high. There would not be such kind of 
phase where all these things you know you would be more receptive towards the healing energies and receive it in a highest best way with full faith that thing will get missed out if I send you the recorded version and that is why intentionally I made it a point that everyone who is receiving these healings should read their intentions, should read their prayers themselves to keep the faith high and the devotion high so that these energies whatever I am sending you and you are receiving it will work effectively and more efficiently and you receive it 100% because I want the impact I want the results because otherwise I could have you know sent you so many audios and videos okay you do it on your own but I want results that is the reason I made you feel you know to read those things I believe you understood this point as well if you understood write down yes I understood and if you have any query any question related to the money karma healing or you want to share any of your experiences do let me know I'll how to connect with these energies in the right way Harbin is asking the right way is one that you need to follow the process Second, do not have any kind of doubt while doing it because once you have the intention to connect, once you are ready and have the willingness to connect, once you have the faith in these energies and the energy circle and the divine energies and in cell, if you have all these ingredients, nobody would stop you connecting with the energy circles. The only thing is you need to have faith and do not create any iota of doubt. If there is no doubt, you will connect like this, provided you follow the process. Yes, I understood Vishali. Yes, I understood. Perfect. Rupesh, I understood. Anything else, any query, any question, I am here for you ask question ask uh, or share experience or anything you feel like do go on please i can uh, i am here for you only i'll wait for you write down in the comment box so you have two more days for money karma healing uh, today evening and tomorrow evening and then day after you would be getting ancestral healing as a compliment so uh, complimentary healing as a bonus so next three days again you would be having all these healings but before that going to before going further please write down whatever you want to ask divine energy circle dikta hai but fir gayab ho jata hai okay ruby so it is something that if you keep on concentrating or focusing on visualization if you focus on visualization ki mujhe dikhna hi chahiye so the energy, those subtle energies get distracted and wo dikhna band ho jayega. You have to go with the flow. Dikhta hai, theek hai, nahi dikhra, then also you, your faith is so high that you know it is there. Whether I would be able to see or we are not able to see it, it is just that thing is there and I am getting it. So if you have difficulty in visualization, do not focus more on visualization because whatever visualization might happen, it will also uh, vanish. So agar nahi bhi dikhra hai, imagine that it is there because you have to keep your faith high always and you have to you do not have to distract ki mujhe nahi dikh raha. in the morning i was talking to someone related to this only so <coughs> excuse me so this gentleman asked that sometime i don't uh, how would i uh, get to know whether i'm connected or not or maybe uh, there are, there were few queries also that kal connection ho gaya aaj nahi hua so this is something it is not that ki kal ho gaya, aaj nahi hua. if you follow the process, still you are not able to see, that is okay. It's perfectly all right because your energies are working. It is just that your mind or maybe your logical mind is not able to see it. However, energies are still there and it is working. 
कई बार ऐसा भी होता है कि हमें कुछ भी नहीं फील हुआ फॉर एग्जाम्पल पीपल वर सेंग लाइक फील नहीं हुआ कुछ सो डिड आई डू समथिंग रॉन्ग और शुड आई रिपीट द प्रोसेस अगेन और वॉट नॉट सो फॉर दोज द आंसर इज लाइक एनर्जीज आर वर्किंग एंड इफ यू यू नो सैड टू रिसीव द हीलिंग्स इफ यू कनेक्टेड टू द सर्कल एंड रिसीविंग इट the only thing is healings are uh, you know in the process it's not about whether you are feeling it or you are not feeling it if you are receiving it and still you are not feeling sometimes we are not so sensitive or body is not so sensitive that every time we could feel so with practice your body would become sensitive but if today you are not able to feel and you are were sitting to receive it and you were doing and following the whole process with the intentions that means healings are done so not don't create any doubt ki mujhe feel nahi hua usko feel hua to mere ko mehsoos nahi hua to mujhe healing nahi hua healing to aapka bhi hua it is just that the energy you were not your body was no so sensitive to receive the energies subtle energies so that is the reason only but do not worry healings are working on you and you are getting healings perfectly and you need to you know keep your faith high and ex- express gratitude towards them uh okay ma'am i saw entire universe like the stars planet sky is it okay yes yes bhupender it is perfectly all right because whatever divine energies are showing to you it is maybe a way of giving you the indication that this is what is required in your system this is a symbolic representation you if you get if, if you see some stars if you see sky if you see some few people are saying that i saw initially some black cloud and then there was a light so these are the you know uh, symbolic representation of a particular thing so that is perfectly all right universe is communicating divine energies are communicating in the symbolic manner but with time you would be able to understand the symbolic languages as well but as far as feedbacks are concerned if i talk about perfectly all right wonderful amazing fantastic thank you for sharing all your feedbacks what would be the best time for meditation after transmission of energy as i write in the process after 15 to 20 minutes you can start receiving the tra- energy transmission but the energy transmission will remain for 24 hours almost if i send healing energies at 9 pm it will remain till 8 pm as i always mention on daily basis every time is good time when you are most comfortable with every time is good time when you feel that this is the best time which is for me distraction free every time is good time because your energies and you should be comfortable and distraction free and when you are feeling that okay i am comfortable at night go at uh, your pace if you feel i am comfortable in the morning hours go with your pace because every time is good time to receive the energies and the divine energies are working wonderfully and they bless you thank you ma'am for all the blessings thank you ruby no feeling at all i don't think i am in connection what should i do why do you feel that you are not in connection although i have answered this uh, question earlier i would like to uh, repeat it again with few more explanations okay if you are following the process that has been guided if you are intentionally wanting it to connect and receive the healings and also if you have faith if you have if you are willingness to do this thing if you have all these ingredients and you are following it completely nobody is there to hamper your connection sometimes we feel that we are not connected but that is only for our, this is for our feeling this is just the feeling that we are having however our consciousness automatically raise 
and get connected to the energy circle it is not that you are conscious if whatever you thinking it is across time space dimension and reality अगर मैं यहाँ पर बैठ के अपनी किसी फ्रेंड किसी कली किसी फैमिली मेंबर के लिए सोच रही हूँ आई एम इन इंडिया एंड दैट अदर पर्सन इज से फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन सम अदर कंट्री में भी जर्मनी में भी यू एस में भी ऑस्ट्रेलिया एवरी एनी वेयर सो माई कॉन्शियसनेस ऑटोमेटिकली गोज टू दैट पर्सन एनर्जेटिकली वी आर कनेक्टेड so it does not matter where uh, what time or it does not matter whether i am connect because i am not feeling i am not connected is not uh, exactly i should put it in a way that if you are intentionally getting connected following the process hum connect ho jate hain sirf hame aisa mehsoos hota hai ki hum connected nahi hain but if you go on and do it regularly then you would find the difference so people are getting different kinds of experiences like they are having jerks they are having sensations they are having some kind of itching sensation jaise abhi maine mention kiya they are having some kind of heaviness or maybe sometimes they are feeling so peace uh, and whatever so it is like you have to go with the flow keeping your faith high connection to hoga hi hoga but the only thing is agar aap doubts laate ho agar aap apne andar wo disbelief laate ho or if you repeat again again nahi ho raha nahi ho raha nahi ho raha then energies will get distracted you have to keep your focus in those energies with the faith that if you feel that you are not able to connect start imagining that there is a ball of light if i say everybody okay let's 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 do it uh, a kind of practice whatever you feel write down in the comment box if i say imagine a ball which is of red in color in your mental picture imagine a ball red ball it could kuch bhi size ho sakta hai red ball who could who all could imagine write in the type comment box i can imagine a ball which is of red in color who all can imagine in mentally red ball kon imagine kar pata hai agar main aap se kahu imagine karo to type in comment box if you can imagine a ball which is red in color i'm waiting for your response open your eyes if you have closed your eyes by chance open it and jot and write down in the comment box who all can अंजू यादव सेंग यस आई कैन सो बाकी सबको नहीं इमेजिन हो पा रहा क्या इमेजिन बॉल विच इज रेड इन कलर आई एम वेटिंग फॉर योर आंसर्स यस आई कैन आई कैन आई कैन यस एवरीबडी कैन इमेजिन रेड बॉल सो इफ आई से इमेजिन देर इज अ मून जस्ट इमेजिन अ पिक्चर ऑफ मून हु ऑल कैन इमीडिएटली इमेजिन यस सो एवरीबडी कैन इमेजिन all those people who have issues in visualization start imagining the ball of energy which is created for you just imagine a ball of light this ball se aap raat ko connect hote ho to get the healings created by dr rinki imagine there is a ball of light sending you the healing who can imagine say i do write down i do if you can mentally imagine there is a ball which is of bright light white color ruby is saying no i can't who all can do write down imagine karna hai imagination mein to koi restriction ho hi nahi sakti hai anshu is saying yes bhupender is saying yes bhupesh kapoor saying yes anju yadav yes i do okay so in that scene in that scenario when if you are, if you are finding kind of difficulty because sometimes initially yes everybody for the very first time who are uh, getting these healings done for their first time sometimes it happens that we are you know having difficulty in connecting it happens sometimes because our logical mind you know uh, hampers the 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 kind of you know logics it puts 
कि ये तो पॉसिबल ही नहीं है ऐसे थोड़े ना होता है ऐसे कोई भी हीलिंग हो जाएगी ऐसे कुछ भी हो जाएगा यू नो पीपल हैव देयर ओन काइंड ऑफ नोशंस बट यस वंस यू स्टार्ट इमेजिनिंग यू वुड एक्चुअली यू नो रिफाइन योर विजुअलाइजेशंस सो इफ यू फाइंड डिफिकल्टी इन कनेक्टिंग this is a one this is one tip i am sharing with you that if you feel that i could not see the energy circle i could not find it then you can start imagining that yes there is a circle which is of glowing white color light and from there i am i would be getting this healing so this circle is there and this would send me the healing so once i read the prayer and again close the eyes and follow it and imagine that this circle is sending me the light of god the light of energies and whatever prayer and prayer bhi maine isliye bataya because so that your mind would be more focused towards those energies so that you can receive them effectively more effectively because even though the healings are there you would get all the healings the only thing is your mind would be more focused and more open to receive it this is the reason so if you find any any difficulty in your connection start imagining and get connected and receive the healings understood is it okay i think i am clear okay so any other query any other question any doubt anything else you want to know or any query you want me to address for you ask so i hope everybody is understood hi dr rinki i have one query after doing prayers then we have to do meditation to receive the energy healings yes uh, as the process uh, there i have mentioned that after reading the prayers Uh, close your eyes and start observing what is happening because you are still connected to the energy circle and all the prayers that you have there in the format once you read uh, you have to open your eyes read and then later on keep your eyes closed again and witness yourself observe yourself what is happening what all things are going inside of you what kind of healing energies you are feeling what kind of you know sensations in the body may be what kind of visualization you are having what kind of visions you might see because as i told you in the in uh, day 2 case like someone was uh, able to see her mother who is not alive and she was there to communicate to send the, uh, to give the message but because uh, you know you could see anything it is all up to divine we are we should go unconditionally there should not be any kind of condition in the mind that we should put and go and nahi aisa hi hona chahiye hame healing to yahi chahiye aur kuch cheez so because you have to be open whatever requirement for that particular time for that particular energy Uh, for you the divine energies will give you so you might have some kind of visualization you might feel some kind of sensation in the physical body you might feel emotional outburst also so it is all normal this is the process of detoxification you need to need not to worry about kya ho gaya because this is the process of cleansing of all the emotional physical mental garbage that needs to be released out of your system uh okay km sharma ji bhi aaya thank you so much i am honored you are here um with your gracious presence thank you only imagination is enough you can go with the imagination at one point of time your imagination will slip out and you would actually feel or uh, witness the healing process it it goes with practice i will not say ki aapko pehle din se hi ye shuru ho jayega but yes it might take time it might take practice but definitely this will help you a lot moving further in your healing sessions yes anything else any question uh, you want to ask and very soon yeah this is something that next two days healings uh, is there like today evening and tomorrow evening for manikarma healing two days are left 
So we would be having alignments and DNA activations. Of course, these healings are very, very intense. And kuch definitely aap logo ko discomfort hoga bhi. So you have to express your gratitude. Because uska reason maine bataya hai ki discomfort hone ke kya reasons hai. But yes, keep on expressing, keep on sharing your feedbacks in the group. Because if in case any guidance is required, I will definitely let you know how to go about it. I would help you from that point of time because until and unless I am not aware of, if you do not share your feedback, I will not be able to know what is happening with you. So I won't be able to guide you any further. So it is very important to share your feedbacks and experiences that you are having next two days as well. And uh, all those people who are receiving, I would like everyone to share their experiences in the group. Do not share in the personal chat because it would be very difficult for me because sometimes it might go unread. I receive more than hundreds and hundreds of messages every day and I, am, I, I could not see all of them. So I would request all of you to kindly post your feedbacks and your experiences in the group itself and avoid posting direct message because then I won't be able to see and I will not be able to respond as well. And any other query, any other question? I am very soon because see, uh, due to pandemic situation, I am coming up with Reiki workshop online because this is something that, that is required by all of you. Why all of you? Because we all need, all of us rather, because we all need positivity at this point of time. There are so many things going along and so much of stress, so much of discomfort, sabke business ka, financial ka issue hota ja raha hai and people are getting more of towards the negative side. So to remain positive, to remain in the higher frequencies, to keep the faith high, we need the positivity which is the which is very important to slip into the kind of depression or discomfort or any kind of disease nowadays. So I am coming up with the online uh, workshop Reiki starting from 21st to 25th, 5 days, 4 to 7 every day. And uh, at a very nominal, very nominal uh, energy exchange. So anybody who is interested to join, do let me know so that you know you can text me or you can send a message to me uh, on messenger on this chat box itself later on so that I can send you the details because this is something what I feel is instead of moving towards going here and there to different healers and therapists better before you know the situation if we get some kind of positivity and know some kind of techniques where we can help ourselves help being a spiritual uh, being and help others in our house and create the positive environment, it will, why not? So go for the learning process and it will help you and it is a lifetime skill. So I would recommend that those who have not learned yet, please go ahead, you should have this skill because this is something that will help you remain the positive state of mind and heal yourself. So we, you will not get uh, those kind of situations which we want to save and we go to save for different healers and many therapists and therapists. No need to do it. So with that intention, I am having this Reiki workshop starting from 21st. This, that will end uh, on 25th, 4 to 7, 3 hours daily. So and uh, uh, level 1 and level 2 inclusive of your e-manuals and e-certificate. So do let me know if you are interested. Anybody else who is having any of the query, any of the question related to money karma healing or want to share something, just post in the comment box. Any query you want to ask, anything you want to share, do let me know. I am waiting for your replies say yes I want to share and I would definitely like to ask all of you who are attending my healings how are you feeling these days after getting three days healings related to money karma Girija is here wow wonderful welcome 
Yes, anybody? Or should I close this session? I am just waiting and I am here for you only and I, I believe I have cleared all your doubts, all your queries. If you have anything else to say, do let me know. Hello, ma'am. Anju Yadav. Hi, Anju. How are you? It's been long. Great to see you in the session. Okay, so uh, nobody is having another question. All is settled. Everybody is now know what to do and what not to do while receiving the healings. So again telling you no distraction at all. Sit comfortably with whichever time suits you. Have your faith high. Keep your faith high and follow the process so that you can get the connection and get the maximum healings and if sustained discomfort happens that is okay nothing to worry about that is the part of cleansing process that is the part of toxin releases your detoxification happens so let it be at during that time keep your self hydrated drink plenty of water so that detoxification happens on its own gracefully through urination and you do not have much of pain or discomfort and also express gratitude towards the healings towards the divine energy towards the uh, the toxins that are moving out and releasing out of your system because wahi karne ke liye to hum baithe hain so these are few things these are few tips that i would like to repeat and feeling blessed anshu sethi thank you wonderful and energetic rekha manik thank you so much i am feeling very positive after doing mani karma awesome vishali thank you so much everyone so let me just uh, close the session today and if you still have any query yes thank you ma'am bupender uh, if you have any query you can post in the comment even after this live session so i would go through it even after that and i will answer all your queries either in the comment section itself or in our group mani karma healing so keep on jotting down your queries write it down and you know i'll answer everyone's query thank you so much for joining us uh, this session and definitely are you coming up with others are you coming up with others uh, are you coming up with others i don't know uh, bhupender is trying to say something a whatsapp workshops yes yes a very valid point bhupender thank you for asking this important question i would be very soon coming up with different whatsapp workshops few of the people uh, have requested to do whatsapp workshop for ancestral healing and uh, hopefully i would be coming up uh, with the ancestral healing workshop in next 15 days and uh, after that i would be i am planning i am planning that i would be having relationship whatsapp workshop that is basically it's nothing about the others it's about us so our relationship is the mirror reflection with the relationship of others so this is what i feel and this is what these are the workshops that i have started in the year 2017 and it all the workshops have got a brilliant amazing results so uh, very soon i am coming up with all those workshops and uh, there are many people who were not able to connect and not able to join this mani karma healing a uh, few of them have mentioned in the comment box itself uh, uh, during this session so if there is a group and they are ready i would announce mani karma workshop again and also there were few participants who used to attend all my workshops repeatedly and if you also want to repeat it is better because hota kya hai ki if we release one layer of the blockage or the pattern or whatever it is like onion there might be few other reasons and blockages which are there in the core so it is just a one time healing kinds if you want more sessions if you want more healings either you can repeat the session as per your choice and if you have any of your personalized issue you can connect with me personally for one to one session 
and uh, Reiki yes as I told you we are going to start the Reiki healing workshop level 1 level 2 starting from 21st of this month and it will be for 5 days till 25th of July timings would be 4 to 7 every day and this would be online that is on zoom I would be conducting these sessions at a very very nominal fees because due to pandemic due to lockdown people are more you know they have their time so if you have time please invest your in yourself and get learn this healing technique secondly it will help you to overcome all your issues all issue, all your issues in what way emotional mental spiritual and physical all of them and you can heal yourself heal, you can heal others as well and you can heal uh, through distance basis also because level 2 has all the things that where you can heal someone through distance also so the, so the your presence you are present or you are not present it does not matter because in that level there is no limit to the time to the space to the dimension or to the reality there is no time limitation you can heal your past you can heal your you know present you can heal so many things relations and everything so if you are interested do let me know so that it's hardly i think three four days left so get the formalities done get yourself registered for it so that you can get the ebook e-manual and the e-certificate so i need time to get those things also prepared so if you intend to join do let me know at the earliest so that i could do the needful accordingly and stay connected keep on sharing your experiences it's in the group itself i would again request do not post in the direct message it might get unread and i don't want any of your experiences or feedback unread because if there is a need to guide you i won't be able to guide at that point of time so please jot down everything to be in the uh, group itself to get the guidation uh, if 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 something needs to be guided i could let you know accordingly thank you so much for joining me thank you everyone for your time and your energies and if you have any other query or question do uh, post in the comment box or in the uh, group itself i would answer every query thank you so much